<laughs> so take us back, John. Tell us where life began yeah. for you. Well, a real noticeable one was um, during the war, when the war started, you know, World War Two. Yeah. And where were you? When? Where did you? Where were you born? We were in England then. Right. We lived in England and with my parents. Um, he's, he, my dad was a policeman and the, in the Warwickshire Constabulary. Right. Yeah, <laughs> big one. Uh, yes, it, it, I think that was a significant one because it's one of those things that sticks in your mind. You know, you never forget. So you were alive when the war hit mm. England. Mm. And uh, so tell us your memories of that, that time. Well, one of the things we used to live, well, live, <laughs> used to travel down the, into the shelter every night, mainly every night, because that's when the, the bombers came over. And uh, if it was a, a clear night, no cloud, you'd know they'd be there. If it was a, a, fo a, a cloudy night, no moon, and dark, they wouldn't come. Mm. So that's what we used to pray for, was a, a a dark night, you know, probably rain. But if it was a clear night, you had to go down the shelter because that's where the, that's where the action was up the top there, and you were down there. So you were just, how old were you in these those years? Uh, it was about four, six. Right, so six, six, five or six as the war came through. Yeah. Now, we do have a photo of you back in <laughs> those. Uh, this is incredible, really, uh, knowing that it's going back so far. Uh, this is this is John, age, what, three or four? Uh, so before those... Can you see the likeness? <laughs> what an incredible... Um, yeah. There we go, hold that up. Uh, uh, to have a photo from back then, it's been coloured, obviously, but uh, yeah, this is you with, uh, with a toy. Uh, from back in those very early years in yeah. England. And later on in life, you can see that I, I used to know c like cars and, and, and things like that because the little truck down there, look, there's a tin, one of those tin trucks tin that trucks. you used to be able to buy there. You'd, they'd be collectibles now, wouldn't they? Yeah. Yes, they yeah. would. What a special photo to have, especially mm. being black and white and then it's being coloured. And it's so well. good too, isn't it? It's it is very good. Anything, you haven't yeah. changed a bit. <laughs> <laughs> So tell me about those moments in the war. I mean, I guess there was, uh, you were young, but was there a sense of fear for, for everyone in the community or was, because you were so young, it was just an adventure? Yes, it, it, you know, you used to live, live down in the, in the air raid shelter. Right. By the way, I don't know whether any, any of the viewers know what an Anderson shelter was, but the shelter was made out of corrugated iron, like any sheds today, but it was more substantial than that. And the, the iron went up like that, and then it curved at the top. And the other one went to it, and that was curved, and they bolted together, and that made your shelter underneath. And according to how large your family was, um, that's the size that you got. You know, if it, ours was a, quite a large family because there's four of us in it. So we got a, we were lucky we got an extra sheet <laughs> of iron. Right. But for anybody that was a, just a couple, um, there'd only be two, you know, to make the shelter like that. Right. And you can either dig them in the ground if you want to dig the hole and put them in the ground, or you can have them on the top. And like Dav, Doug, Dad, uh, he opted for half and half. So what he dug the hole out, slot, you know, partly in the dirt that came out went onto the top of the shelter, and they put flowers on the top of it to make it look like a garden. Wow! From the air, you know. Yeah. <laughs> So this is in your backyard, mm, yeah. yeah. And so every time there was a raid, the sirens yeah, go we went. into there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There was one particular raid, one one moment that uh, particularly stands in your memory. <laughs> uh, yeah, tell it us does. about that. Yeah. Well, my my dad hadn't hadn't an office. He hadn't got an office. He was just an ordinary old constable, you know. And he used to do typing. I don't know what he, you know what a typewriter is. If, yeah. you, yes. if you use a typewriter, it's like the one that came before the computer. Yes. Um, but the keys were similar, same. And he had to do his office work in the lounge. So every night he wanted to do a, a report, um, he had to take the typewriter into the lounge and type away. You know. But anyway, after he'd done all that, he, d he hadn't got the office, as I said. So he used to keep this typewriter uh, in the hallway on a, on a table Mm -hmm. And uh, for some unknown reason, Mum used to place her best hat every time she wore it uh, on top of the typewriter, which stands on the hall stand, see? Mm -hmm. Well, the bombs came one night 
one was very very close and as you know with a with a bomb when it explodes it blows everything out and the, the void that it leaves it has to come back in again the air mm -hmm. you know it blows the air away but it's got to come somewhere so it comes back in again wow. and this particular night the bomb went off one of them did and uh, unbeknownst to us it took the typewriter and the and the hall stand and mum's best hat out into the street <laughs> through two doors which are on the in the alleyway mm -hmm. and the next morning we couldn't find dad's typewriter we couldn't find the hall stand couldn't find mum's hat so we <laughs> walked up and down and there it was in the middle of the street still still as it, as it was in the hallway wow on the on the hall stand with the hat on it <laughs> wow so that's uh, that was a funny thing that was yeah, yeah. where's my hat she used to say <laughs> back out on the street oh it's so out in the street <laughs> just from the shock wave or the yeah, the, the, uh, oh, yeah. wow yeah. yeah so you uh what an incredible time to have lived through oh, as, yeah. uh, your formational years as there a was some funny things happen you yeah. know but yeah, i'm sure a lot were. of that weren't funny of course yes yeah could you hear the planes and things going yes, over could. at night yeah yeah the there were four engine uh, planes. I think they were a Heinkel or something like that. They call. I've forgotten about them now. Anyway, but anyway, they used to come over in waves, like squadrons, I suppose they would have been if mm -hmm. we'd have looked up to see them. And you can hear the humming of the of the engines and warm, 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 like that synchronised, you know. Mm -hmm. And then when they were turning to to come into the bombing run, you, the engine one sided rev up, warm, 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 as they came in and dived in. And then the, the whistle from the bombs and then the explosion. Mm. But a lot of the bombs weren't high explosive bombs. They were incendiary bombs for, for causing fire. Okay. And that's what Coventry got. Right. There's a lot of it. Lot, well, it had both. But a lot of them were incendiary bombs and they did an awful lot of damage like they did to the cathedral. Right. Yeah. Um, so you were you were in Coventry. Uh, where, well, where we lived in, in actually in in Nuneaton, which is a little town close to Coventry. Right. But the, we caught the back end of all the bombs. Right. Okay. <laughs> and where is where is Coventry uh, in relation to London around uh, oh, for those who don't know the area? It'd be about ninety miles, I suppose. Yeah. 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 Because in Coventry, as you probably know, there's lots of little towns and villages scattered all over the place. Um, they're not all big cities and you know, a hundred uh, miles away like there is here. Yeah. Mm, mm. So, wow. yeah. The... you got some photos as well to share for those who are watching uh, on YouTube or on you, television. You get any? So we've got a photo of you, uh, your two brothers. This would be a few years later. Um, yeah. uh, so tell us about, you had some siblings. Your brother was one of them. Uh, tell us about your family. Well, I'll say dad was uh, in the police force. Mum was... Um, Home duties, as you call it. Yeah. yeah. Um, we, I used to, work, well, I started work on on the farm, uh, and that was hard work because uh, it was early morning milking, and we didn't have milking machine in those days. You, you know, you were the old hand thing. Doing hand gestures yeah, right now. Hand yeah. Actions, <laughs> hand actions. Yes. Yeah, milking. milking the cow. Yeah. yeah. And. Um, and that's how we how we got the milk. It went into the cooler, of course, in the in the in the dairy on the farm to cool it off. And then uh, they uh, went into a big churn, and then the, the trucks came and picked them up in the morning. You know, so you were no stranger to hard work as a youngster. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching this short clip of Life Bus. Make sure that you hit the subscribe, like and follow button. And for more, head to rawcut.com.au.